Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a uh, the rib base, the RHIB, rigid hardline inflatable boat. Whether you get it from cargo or if you're buying one, uh, most people don't know where to store them or how the best place to store them is. And there are two things to note, or three things to note, and that is a stone gate or a wood gate. They fit perfectly within two squares two square foundations and then the rib itself is a two by three essentially I think yeah you could probably get away with a one by three but you need two by you need two squ squares anyways for uh, the gate so build a two by three and then the gate itself takes up a two by one so you're gonna have an empty space of a two by four and then you need to cover your soft sides and everything, but yeah, see, it's fully sealed. You know, teach you how to get a uh, perfect placement of the gate every time. And uh, I say three things to note: you got the two by three, the one by two for the gate. Oh, and you're going to want uh, four things actually. You're not going to want to build too deep because if you build your Rib base too deep. This bar of the gate is going to come in contact with this thing, and you're not going to be able to get the rib inside the base. Then the last thing is you're going to want your gate swinging outwards, so pretty much backwards. So if it swings in, the door is going to be right here, and it's the rib is going to prevent it from closing. It's going to be pointless. Be All right, let's uh, let's start it. It's real easy. All right, so you're gonna want to start where you want your gate is gonna be. So you want it deep enough to where the rib is actually going to be able to move, and you don't have to push it. So start like maybe right here. I'm gonna build empty one by two for the gate, and go out three for the rib. Two by three, right here. Got your three for the rib. And then before you place the gate, you could either uh, you can claim this area if you're doing this early on. Doesn't matter. The only thing you want to do before the placement of your high external gate is either upgrade this if you're having planning on uh, having a strong base. I guess doesn't really matter, but. All these tiles will not be able to be placed after you stick a gate in there. So you're gonna want to come over here and build those. And that's it. Now you just get yourself a gate. Whether you get nine of them on cargo one time or whatever the fuck. Uh, yeah. And then the key to perfect placement of the gate is going to be this the graphic of the stone conditional corner right here see how this graphic appears when there's a corner you want to place the sides of the gate right at the edge of these dark gray stones for the conditional on both sides so you get a perfect placement you'll be, able, you'll be able to fully seal your base now you just want to line it up so that you see I like to get it pretty even so that there's an equal amount of the uh, the blue outline sticking out from each one. And you're going to get right there. It's pretty forgiving. You could do it a bit closer or a bit farther, but it's pretty easy. You just get it exactly right on that graphic line on both sides equally. So you're nice and straight. Uh, oh, usually when you, when you first get it, I already have it rotated. When you first get it, it's going to be this way, be sure. To have that top awning facing inwards so the gate swings outwards. We're just going to place it right there. And now we are perfectly able to seal the entire base. Um, you can go really cheap like this if you want to. And leave the soft side. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll just do it like this for this one. You can wall in the whole thing too, but... Because we lined up 
the gate with those that corner graphic. We're gonna be able to completely seal this. If you're too far one way or too far back, you're not gonna be able to you have to do some some of your stuff like this. And people will still be able to look inside or do whatever, see where your TC is and go right to your TC and then take over the base or whatever, it doesn't matter. But yeah, you just want to place your gate. You know, it takes no practice, it's fucking easier than shit. Just line up those two corners with the roof conditional and every time you're gonna get perfect placement of the squares to seal off your root base. It's only these things that you cannot add. And yeah, now we have the uh, perfectly sealed root base. I'll go spawn one in to show right how it works. I don't think I did it too low. Uh, Too high is better than too low because then you just have to push the boat in, whereas too low you'll never be able to get it in. So right now, just pull the rib in and shut the door. And there you have it. You have a uh, nice sealed off. Oh, probably gonna have to push this. When you're doing it, this is the bare minimum. When you're doing it this way, you definitely have to push. Yeah, you seal up your rib base. Give a TC here, whatever, you can wall this whole thing in. Doesn't matter. Huh. Yeah, make sure this door swings out too. Never want your door swinging in because the rib is going to prevent it from opening or closing. Yeah, there we go. A quick little, very easy, foolproof uh, rib base.